Guys, let me tell you something about this recon perk, right? I didn't realize how toxic it was, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't realize how many people were using this perk, man, okay? I knew it gave you wall hacks to some degree, but I didn't realize how many people actually used it, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's in the game. Use what you have at your disposal to get an edge over the enemy or against the opponent. When I sat and thought about it, right? Because I knew it was in the game, but I never really sat there and thought about it. Like, there's a perk that lets people see through walls temporarily so they know my exact location. I've always tried to figure out why the heck it felt like people knew exactly where I was and pre-fired around corners so aggressively the way they did. Now, I'm not saying every single person I play against is using recon, obviously. I'm not saying that, but god damn. But yo, what's good, you guys? My name is Fanda, and we're back here on some more Black Ops 6. I'm continuing the camo grind on the assault rifles. I'm currently on the Model L. I haven't really used it that much. It's only level 5. And yes, I got the GPR-91 to gold, okay? That, that gun was so irritating. I don't look forward to getting diamond on it at all, okay? This might be one of the few guns where I'm just going to be like, forget it. You know what I'm saying? I might just be like, nah. I'm good. And then my homeboy was like, nah, man, like you're supposed to use the rapid fire mod on it and everything. Look, I put the rapid fire mod on it. I did what everybody told me to do with this stinking gun. I put all the attachments on it that were supposed to be on it. And honestly, it was still stupid. It was still stupid. I lost too many brain cells trying to use it, bro. I really did. Don't ask me why I'm using War Cry as a field upgrade on it, okay? This gun it took me to a place that I do not want to return to, okay? Like, now, before I get into the shenanigans of today's commentary, I want to welcome all the brand new viewers and subscribers to the channel. If you're brand new here, I do a lot of cut commentary and goofy gameplay, so feel free to stick around and check out some other content I got. A lot of brain cell loss and a lot of goofiness and a lot of comedy, just all packaged right up into one. And also, consider dropping a like on the video, man. Okay, I was told I should start asking people to like the video a little bit more so let's try to get this video up to 10 or 15 plus likes but yeah so for today's commentary yeah um apparently i have an issue with authority yeah i, I just have like an innate problem when it comes to authority figures of any shape or form apparently Did i strike you as somebody that like you know that just always had some kind of like you know freaking problems in school or something because here's the thing here's the thing the problem isn't that i have an issue with authority that that's not my problem i don't have an issue with authority i have an issue with people who have freaking management positions who have some kind of authority position Position within a job but their iq is comparable to a freaking reptile that went backwards in evolution okay that that's what that's what it feels like all right you know their freaking iq went backwards and they have the authority power over me you know these people they get a little power they get a little authority and, you know they start acting a little they, they start acting a fool okay i ain't gonna lie to you so check this out man there's this lady at my job right you know i've been at this place for a good while and she's kind of like you know Roy went up in the ranks you know what i'm saying she, she's risen up and kind of like you know got promoted and now she has some some kind of like supervisor position or some kind of like hr position i don't even i don't even know what what she does to be completely honest here's my problem when i don't know what you do like you can have a title right but if i don't know exactly like what your job actually entails but you have like all this authority i'm gonna look at you like i'm gonna look at you like you, like you got a fake job i ain't gonna lie to you well check this out there's literally an entire position that where i work at right there's literally a whole department that's dedicated to essentially just dick riding okay uh, essentially what their job is to do is to make sure everyone else is doing their job now that might be like a slight oversimplification of what they do but essentially that's what they do i mean they literally came to my department one day thinking that they knew everything about how my department works right now here's the thing right you know with my job there's a lot of technicality involved and, there, and there's a lot of i'm not gonna say a lot of schooling involved but just a lot of like book knowledge technical knowledge and just a lot of like hands-on knowledge that you need in order to perform the job and in order for you to actually like you know get the job you feel me making sure you know while i'm on the job i'm fro I'm, I'm following all the proper regulations the rules and regulations making sure everything you know is followed to the t and you mean to tell me some random person they took like a three minute crash course of my job you, you mean to sit there and tell me this person is allowed to come into my department and tell me what the heck how am I, i'm supposed to operate because it's funny too right because like you know these people they come they come in they try to say like oh yeah you need to do this this and that but like it's funny when you catch them i don't want to say like i catch them in a lie but when you catch them and you know that they don't know what they're talking about right like imagine you're a surgeon right you're you're some kind of like surgeon and you put in the time in school you put in the time like you know the hours the clinical hours to learn your skill and learn your craft extensive like you know knowledge technical knowledge in your field they just come up in there but they have so much authority to tell you how to do your job it's one thing if they know how to do it and they're they're actually like you know a, you know experts in your field right that, that that's one thing 
They're not experts in your field in any way, shape, or form. You mean to sit here and tell me I'm supposed to take this person serious? This this person who has literally no kind of background skill in what I do or anything that's like any even clinical related, may I add? I mean, I hate to say it, I'm I'm not trying to hate. I'm just being honest. The person just pushes pencils all day. Okay, they're, they're pencil pushers. I'm sorry. And like I said, I'm not trying to be like disrespectful. That that that's not what I'm getting at, man. Like you know, you're not my boss. You're not my supervisor. You just have a department whose whole job. It's to meet right. Your job is you. Your job is dedicated to meet writing everybody else. What killed me was that she walked up in there with so much confidence on, on what on what we're supposed to do. She 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 felt so confident that what I was doing was wrong. And I was just like, I would love for you to prove to me what I am doing wrong. If you could find out the exact regulation that I am violating, what what code what code I am violating please like you mean to sit here and tell me like you did all this off of i feel like you're doing this wrong what do you mean you feel and your first move as a pencil pusher is to come over to my apartment and try to sit there and dictate and try to freaking regulate what the heck i do man talking about some i feel like you're doing this wrong what do you mean you feel like i'm doing something wrong ever since i've been in my department there ain't been a single issue yet no codes have been violated. Nobody has gotten hurt. We ain't had no kind of instances whatsoever. But you want to come over here and talk about you feel like something's wrong. Yeah, I... My Simtex took its sweet time to freaking blow up right there. Holy. And like I said, man, it might come off like I'm being disrespectful, man. It, it might come off that way. But I'm just being, I'm just being real. I'm just being real, man. What are you doing? Yeah, this is completely unrelated. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying this thing. Wait, I'm actually like winning gunfights way more with this thing. It, it, it's a night and day difference between this and the GPR9, bro. Like the GPR9 hate is gonna continue. Like it, it's gonna continue to the end of time. I mean, there, there, there haven't been that many weapons that I've used across like any game. The GPR9, that that gun, it just. I don't know, man. It just it just sticks. It, it's gonna it's gonna go down in my mental history as one of like the most annoying weapons I've ever had to use. So as I'm saying this, right, you guys are probably wondering what the heck my boss and my coworkers think. My freaking coworkers think the same exact way, and actually my coworkers have put in way more time than I have. So when that lady came in, she started like you know yapping off about just like random stuff. They were all looking at her like, "Who the f is you?" Like like excuse me, like they looked her up and down like. Who is you? Dude, I was relatively tame, you feel me? Like, I'm over here talking about being respectful. My coworkers were the ones that were wilding. I think if the energy was a little bit different, I think what happened was she came up in there a little bit too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? She was, she was extremely condescending. That's the word I'm looking for. She had a very condescending tone whenever she came up into, like, the little area that I work in. And honestly, if she would just came up in there on some chill zone, like, hey, look, I'm new here. I just want to make sure, like, hey, is everything, like, you know, operating the way it's supposed to be? You guys got everything on the control is there anything i need to do to kind of help you guys out because we had somebody before that was basically like that did her job and that's basically like the time and she was on you feel me but anytime she would come by she'd be like hey look you know we're gonna have some like organizations coming in they're gonna be making sure that you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing making sure like you know everything's operating the way it's supposed to be nothing illegal nothing like you know happening below the table that shouldn't be happening you feel me but she came up in there like she was like the new sheriff in town trying to lay down the law and i'm like yeah you can't lay down the law with you know somewhere where you ain't got no respect like that man you can't even introduce yourself i mean you just kicked the door in and just started barking orders honestly no introduction no handshake no dap up you, you didn't pass me a blunt like you didn't like you didn't even offer me no donuts no food you just came up in there and started barking I okay so then you do all that barking and, and now you got mad that you had to type in a whole email you typed up a whole email to my boss you sent it to my boss because you and your feelings you're in your feelings my bad I'm sorry and it was just me okay just me specifically nobody else and I feel like if one of my other co-workers were at ground zero with her that's what I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it ground zero if somebody else was at ground zero I don't think an email gets written. But hey, man, look, I get it, man. Look, I would be mad too if I'm pushing 60 and I've been at this company for 30 years and now I'm finally getting a promotion, okay? I finally get a promotion. I'm Look, I'd start barking too. Dude, corporate America is so funny, man. If someone gets a little bit of authority, you hurt their ego because you just so happen to have a bit of a backbone and all of a sudden now you're just, you know, you don't respect authority all of a sudden. You got so butt hurt by me because I do I wasn't bending over for you that you sat there and said I don't respect authority. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie. I, that, that's crazy.